it's all legal, legal industry practices. What you just witnessed there where um, in the egg laying industry, the boys have no use. So they're not profitable in any way. So they have actually bred the chickens so that they can, the sex is known right when they're born. They pull the boys out and they send them down the macerator. Both of your faces tell me a lot. How does that make you feel? Terrible. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. What specifically makes you feel terrible? The little chicks. Everything. Everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's the first day of life if you're a boy. Isn't that horrible? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. So given that most of us have the same reaction to this, why do you think it keeps happening? Well, well. Money. Yeah. Money. Desire. Desire, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like we were all raised that this is normal, right? Like we're eating eggs and eating chickens right. and eating cows and pigs. That is just right. normal. But do you think we have to eat these items to be happy and healthy? No. So you had mentioned money. It basically comes down to supply and demand, right? Yeah. So what do you think we as individuals can do to change this? I buy those products. Yeah. Yeah, right. And we all put, have... Put pressure on these industries that do that. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, the way that we can put pressure on them is just like you yeah, said, not, not buy the products. Right, because buying. they're in it for profit, right? right so if yeah. they're not making money, they're not going to be doing this to these right. animals. Because right. this costs money as a business. Right. Yeah. yeah. So these wow. here are what we consider like our cage-free, um, free range. They still never see the light of day. They're still crammed in. Um, that's they're crazy. just not like a dozen to a cage, you know. They're right. they're spread out a little bit. But this is this is what we're consuming. Why do you think they don't ever show us this? Yeah, because no one would ever get it. Right, no one would ever buy it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really horrible. And some people will get upset and be like, "Oh, you're picking out the worst of the worst." But this is all legal practice. This is right. all acceptable. Um, they're eating poop. They are. They are. This is their life. I mean, look at when the chickens are born, they will cut off their beaks so they don't peck at each other because they're in these combined places mm. and they still end up looking like this. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. So on this screen here are, is the pork, the pig industry. As soon as the pigs are born, their tails are cut off. If they're a boy without anesthesia, their testicles are just pulled out. Um, and their teeth are broken off, either burned off or broken off, because pigs are very intelligent creatures, and when they're confined in small spaces, they kind of go crazy, and so they'll they'll gnaw at each other, um, and then this is what happens to. Crazy. So seeing this, does it make you think about maybe what's going to be on your plate for dinner tonight? I'm sometimes vegetarian. I don't eat yeah. meat sometimes, so I'm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, what makes you like? Why are you sometimes vegetarian? What was it that made you stop? Like, I just don't like the meat. Yeah. Yeah. Don't like the meat. I mean, vegetarian. taste wise, or just did you know this happened? No. No. That either. Yeah. So now moving forward, knowing that this happens and this is what we're consuming, do you think maybe you might make some more changes? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh my God, poor thing. Yeah. So this the is the mom. The mother is bleeding out and they're still she is. sick in my She is. And so this happens quite often. Um, this, is, this part's disturbing to watch, but I'll kind of... Um, the legal way that they're allowed, it's called thumping. They are legally allowed if it's a runt or if, it's a, if they think it's diseased in any way, if the piglet is. They're allowed to just bash it up against a hard item, either a wall or a bar. Um, she tosses them. This is the life that the mom has her entire life. She's in a crate where she can't turn around. She can she can sometimes lay on her side and when she has piglets, quite often they smush their own piglets because they can't see or right. sense them anywhere under there. Right. Wow. That's yeah. Terrible. Yeah. And this is standard industry practice, you know, this is what this is what's humane right. under our yeah. laws. Under their accepted laws. Yeah. 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 Have you guys ever seen any of the documentaries like What the Health or Forks Over Knives or anything like that? I watched What the Health. What the Health? What yeah. did you think of that? I, it was eye opening. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. You know? Although part of me kind of 
knew it already, like just internally, you know, just... We sense it. It's our yeah, instinct, right? Yeah, like we I've, I've always sensed that the government is always doing something, you know, and poisoning us in some way. Yeah. Because I've, just me personally, growing up through school and everything, I've seen a rise mm -hmm. in diabetes and allergies and stuff like that. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I vent to her all the time. Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 52. Okay. Yeah. I had to think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mind's no, going. it's true though. I mean, I look at I'm 42. I look at my peers and growing up, and it's you just see how it happens, right? You see the progression yeah. of what's going on. And I remember you, back in, in elementary school when I was, you know, young. Yeah. There'd be like one, one or two kids in the whole grade that would be diabetic. You know, now it's like two or three in each class. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be. Right. I mean, that's the thing. And, and if you pay attention on the television of what's marketed to us, it's meat, meat, dairy, meat. And then it's a pill to help cover up whatever the thing is happening to you. Yep. you know? yep. And so I think deep down we all know we have the capability mm -hmm. of changing, mm -hmm. but it's habit, right? right. And we have to change those habits. Right. Now seeing this, does it make you want to change those habits? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, yeah, I, I love critters, so it's like... Right, right. Uh, like if I had a dog here, if there was a dog on the screen, I'm sure people would be going crazy. Right. But because it's these animals that we've been taught right. don't matter, right? Right, yeah. But deep down we know they have the same feelings as all the other animals, right? It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Is this your wife? Yeah. Yeah. She's having quite a. Let's go join her here. So what are you watching here? The cow. Yeah. So this is. Did you see how they shot them in the head with the bullet gun, and they're still alive when they're slitting their throats? What do you guys actually protest? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is 99 percent of the meat that we're consuming. You know, everybody. There was a survey done that 75% of Americans think they get their meat from happy farms where the barns are red and the white picket fence and the paint never chips. But in reality, it's all coming from these locations. It's just cheaper for the companies to, you know, to not care for the animals. Yeah. yeah, well, it's the demand. There's a huge demand for these products because we're demanding it. So as long as we're paying for these things to happen, this is what we're paying for. You know, like a lot of people say, well, I don't kill the animal. But we are. When we go to the store and we pick that little sanitary tray off the shelf, we're paying the not, person to do that. Not to mention McDonald's and Burger King. Exactly. And exactly. Yeah, yeah. And now in all those places, I mean, there's a there's a rise. There's a wave happening because parties. Um, Subway just came out with a Beyond Meat meatball sub. Burger King has the Impossible Whopper. Right. Um, I think Dunkin' Donuts has a Beyond Sausage breakfast patty. Like there's really? there's plant options. Yeah, like almost every fast food chain. McDonald's is coming. KFC is rolling out a plant-based chicken sandwich. Like it's it's coming. It's the convenience factor. Mind you, it's not healthy by any means, you know, right. it, it, but it's not an animal and we're not consuming the cholesterol. Um, if high cholesterol is a problem, it's animal products, you know. Our bodies produce enough cholesterol for us. We don't need to be adding these products. That's terrible. Yeah. If I give you guys a card, we do a little bit more research and, sure. and okay. Um, on here, we have some great, you already saw what the hell. Mm -hmm. um, cowspiracy is more about the environmental impacts of what's happening. Cowspiracy, okay. Uh, cowspiracy. This one's a speech. The guy's name is Gary Yurofsky, the best speech you'll ever hear. It's about an hour, but he just goes through and it just makes sense. So if you have time, I highly recommend that. And then if you do decide that you want to try cutting out animal products, there's a program. Are you on Facebook? Yeah. Um, Vegan22.com. Let me write down another one. Um, it's the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Um, they have a 21-day program where they give you shopping lists. They give you um, recipes and everything for every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it's good food. It's easy to prepare. And it's kind of just a way to get you kick-started into, into a healthier life. My hands are cold, so my writing is not really kickstartup, P-C-R-M dot org. 
And then do you have Netflix? Yes. Okay. Yes. Have you heard of The Game Changers? No. Okay. It's an amazing documentary. Arnold Schwarzenegger's in it, promoting a vegan diet. Um, really? Yeah. Okay. He had a heart attack, I believe, so he's kind of on the, the healthier version. Okay. But it's a movie all about... Um, the stereotype or the the idea that men have to eat meat to be healthy, right? Um, right. Like it's manly right, to eat meat. Right. So it's a great movie. Um, it what? When I had chickens. Did you grow? You had you raised chickens for eggs or for for meat no. or just for pets? Just for pets. Yeah, they're um they're like people. They have personality. Yeah, yeah. All critters do. Yeah. Okay. Can you read that? Kickstart.pcrm.org and the game changers. Yeah. Yep. I got it. Mm -hmm. but, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? You're crying.